Hello, welcome to day two, day three of playing chess every day until I reach 1800. Let's jump right into a game. And um, my last video actually got quite a few more views than I expected, and um, we were playing at 1334. So let's. So hopefully um, he's going to teach us a few things, but hopefully we can still come out on top. Before I really begin and I play the, the Karokan, um, I saw one comment on the last video saying that it looks like I'm um, that I might be smurfing to get more viewers. Um, if you no shade to this person, but if you know chess like pretty well, you will know that I am not smurfing. <laughs> I'm actually not very good for my elo to be totally honest. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to clear that up. I'm not like some secretly high level player um, trying to climb the ranks. I'm act. This is actually my rating. So I'm just gonna pl be playing basic opening principles. And oops, and OBS. I just realized that I forgot to update the. Um, Elo, uh, no longer twelve fifty one. I am now twelve sixty nine. The funny number. Okay, now that that's cleared up, um, looks like he wants to fianchetto with the bishop. Um, but either way, I'm just gonna keep on developing normally. Not much I can do about that. I would be surprised if his next move wasn't g two. Yeah. Um, I know that there's some stuff that I meant to do against the fianchetto variation. If the I'm not actually, I think this has a name. But to be honest, the only course that I have on the Karo Khan is um, Gotham Chess's one, and I haven't studied it as much as I should. <laughs> so my my knowledge of this opening is pretty lackluster. Okay, so I have a few options here. I'm liking the idea of going queen to b6 because I threaten two pawns. If my opponent isn't careful, I'm going to capture the knight and take the pawn. But I could also just develop my uh, bishop, maybe trade bishops. I like being a bit aggressive though, so I'm gonna play queen b6. Maybe it's a mistake, I don't know. I feel like, okay. So I can take this pawn if I want, but then he's gonna win it back. And I just realized if I capture the knight here, then my opponent is simply going to um, Take back with the bishop, but actually I'm okay with that. I'd, I'd rather win a pawn, because I don't think that my bishop was going to be, be doing too well anyway. It was kind of locked out. All right. Now, what do I take back with is the real question. I kind of like taking back with the um, knight, because I want to open up the file, and I feel like it's better to keep my attack on the queen side strong. My opponent and I are both not castled, so I don't know. I also want him to, f to force him to move this bishop because now I'm, I'm just going to capture it if he doesn't move it. Unless he plays something crazy. <laughs> so let's see what's going on. Um, okay, castles. I was not expecting that because now I actually can just take his bishop, which I think I'm just going to do because, I mean, that's a strong piece. Yeah, now I can take this, but then he's going, going to um, win back the pawn. So I kind of like the idea of trading bishops um, because I need a castle. Wait a minute. If he attacks me here, then I can win two pawns. But I've also been taught that pawn chasing is not a great habit to be in. So maybe I don't do that. Hmm. I mean, whichever way I look at it, I feel like boom, boom, boom. Now his knight is a bit unsteady. Maybe I shouldn't. I mean, do it. I'm not sure if I have a better move. Is the real thing though. Let's see. If I want to develop my bishop, I could try to double his pawns. But then where does he go with the knight? Maybe he keeps it in the same place. Um, you know what? I'm kind of greedy, so I might just. I think I'm just gonna take it. Wait a minute. No, we, that that doesn't work either. Okay, yeah, I, I'm I, I'm just gonna take it. Um, <laughs> actually, no, 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 no. I'm going to be principled, like Daniel Nerdisky would tell me to be. Nope, I'm gonna take it. 
I, yeah, this is probably going to come back to bite me, but I don't know. Maybe not. Hopefully not, at least. Um, okay, so he's not going... Oh, that's weird. He's not... He's just defending his other pawn instead of... Um, instead of kicking my queen out. I think that was a mistake because now I can play... Um, rook c1, c8, and then I can attack his knight. I feel like the best move he has there is bishop to defend. Then I can, hmm, because, yeah, yeah, I actually like this a lot. No, 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 because he's just going to move his, his knight, I just realized. No, but then I, I, I win the pawn. Okay. I might be getting too greedy. Oh, do you know what the problem is? He's going to give me a check. Hmm. Yeah, no, if he gives me a check, I'm a bit worried about that. So now, I mean, obviously right now I defend from the check. So actually that isn't a worry. I, if I play rook c8, I think he just moves his bishop over here and takes, takes. Yeah, I'm just going to... Um. I'm just going to develop my no because not not now he's is going to play that. So I think I have to move my queen actually. No. I just went through like three thought processes at the same time. Yeah, this is definitely the right move. I'm also running low on time. I'm so used to playing 15-10. Um also if you see me glancing off to this side, I'm not cheating. That's where my OBS is. Oh, he blundered. <laughs> wow. 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 I guess I Wow, this has been a theme in my recent games. <laughs> my opponent's just blundering. Um, now I'm just going to go here, and if he wants to trade queens, I'm fully happy with that. Wow, I did not expect that. Yeah, okay, well, if you want to trade queens, I'm up a piece. <laughs> so be my guest, and now I just have to play fast. Wow, I don't even know what to say. I mean, this is a 13-34. And now I'm just going to castle and I'm out of danger. And my pawn is safe. Um, do you know what's kind of a cool move? What if I just trap his... I kind of like that, actually. I'm just going to trap his um, rook entirely. What's he going to do? <laughs> I don't think he can do anything. <laughs> and then maybe I can take it? Hmm... Okay, that's a good move, I think. But not really, because can't I just push my pawn? Do you know what? Wait, wait, I need to be very careful here. Takes, takes. You know, boom. Or, oh, do you know what the best move is? I can move my knight back. Now I'm threatening to trap his rook. No, 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 no. And then I'm, yeah, I actually really like this move. The only drawback is I won't be able to castle on the next move, but you live, you laugh, you learn. <laughs> Wait, no, it's you live, you laugh, you love. My bad. I messed up the, the meme. The issue is I can't castle now because my knight... I feel like that might have actually been a mistake. Maybe. Maybe I'm also hanging on to this pawn a bit too much because I, I could have just traded pawns. But then I feel like he gets two rooks in the file. I mean, the the row. I don't know. Yeah, I'm also down to three and a half minutes, so I need to be very careful of that. So my my next move right now is to do this. Probably takes, takes. Okay, now takes, takes. Wait a minute, let me think about this. Boom. Boom, probably takes. Takes. 
Yeah, I'd prefer to have a strong bishop, and right now he has no choice but to take my bishop if he wants to keep. And, th and then I keep the pawn, too. Yeah, his rook is just fully in jail. Oh, this is beautiful. The only problem is my time. And now I do not capture that. Instead, I castle. And if he wants to cast, and if he wants to take that, I will just pre-move that. So hopefully he takes. I mean, if if he wants to trade down to the end of the game, I'm totally cool with that. Um, no, now I shut him back out. Yeah. And now I'm threatening that pawn. I'm going to double up, going to bring my rook out. Ooh. And now I just bring my rook out. I have to be careful about a back rank mate, but that's all. And now I'm just mobilized. If he... Yeah, okay. I mean, now, now this is just about conversion. And I have lost this type of game so many times before um, that it's not even funny. <laughs> so I have to be very careful still. Um, I mean, let's see. Wait, wait, let me think about this. Boom, boom, boom. Then I can... I mean, I'll have to be careful about the back rank, mate, but... No, that would be bad. Um, yeah, I mean, it, I, I'm going to force him to um, trade on my terms, I think. Oh, do you know what? I, I just realized I made a mistake. I could have gone like this on the previous move. And then won the pawn. Yeah, I'm going to make some luff for my king in a minute. Oh, I forgot he could do that. Um... Yeah, um, this might be the coward's way. Oh, I have an idea. He's going to try to trap my bishop. But I am going to go like... No, actually, you know what? I'm just going to make luft. Yeah, I do not want to get back rank mated or even have to worry about that. My biggest problem right now is time. Now, I, I, was, trap I was trying to trap him into doing that. He does not fall for it, so I'm just going to go back. Probably a bad move on my part, but um, that's okay. Yeah, okay, I'm just stressed about winning, losing this on time, obviously. So I'm gonna play very fast. Not gonna talk about my my, my decision making process too much anymore. Yeah, that's what we were worried about. I, I I attack his rook, and next move I think is that because my rook is defended. Um. So yeah, next move is this, like we planned. Okay, this is actually getting a little bit scary, um, but not really because now I go like this. I'm going to force him to trade. Maybe I should have been pushing this pawn the entire time. Yeah, and there's no way I lose this unless I don't do this. <laughs> now there is zero chance that I lose this unless I fail to make a queen somehow. And he has to take on my terms if he want if he wants that. I'm not going to give him any chance. Um, I mean, I, I'm just going to push this. And now, if he takes this pawn, I make a queen. Um, just bring my king in. I mean, I've won this game. There's nothing he can do. I hope he resigns. Um, let's see. Okay, I have 58 seconds though. The thing is, I can take as many in-between moves as I want. Force his king away. Because I can move this bishop back and forth infinitely. Okay, if he captures that, I'm happy he has no more moves. He has no more moves. I'm going to move here next move. And he has nothing. He has literally nothing. And now I'm going to push the pawns. Beautiful.
yeah, I mean, there's nothing you can do. I, even even I can win this with 50 seconds. And then after I push this, he's um, can't even block it because my, my bishop is x-raying. And he's in check. Beautiful. Now I just keep on pushing. I'm not going to stalemate. Not going to stalemate. <laughs> that would be bad. Now I go like... Oh, that might have actually have stalemated. Um... That he has a move still. Yes, he has a move still. Um, now I give him a check. I force him to take. And yeah, okay. I mean, I'm just gonna make a queen. My 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 big worry was stalemating. I mean, I'm not gonna lose this. I do have 30 seconds. I'm gonna I'm gonna just ensure each 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 time that I move that he has a place to go. Um. Yep. Check. Boom. Okay. I wish you would resign. I'm not going to lose this, hopefully. Um, yeah. Yeah, even I win this. Yeah, okay, that's game. He cannot do anything except remove the pawn, and then I checkmate him. Although I did run very low on time. Is he gonna wait the full three minutes? Guys, I promise you that if he, okay. And checkmate. He was, I, do you know what? I think he was hoping that, with that king move, I think he was hoping that I was going to, uh, or that I was assuming he was gonna go there, and then, uh, and then check there. In which case he would have um, been able, oops, been able to take the queen. But I did not make that blunder, so we are all good. And let's just go into game review really quickly. Twelve ninety now. Let's go. Um, I played at eighty eight percent accuracy. My opponent played at eighty two percent accuracy. My one mistake was apparently taking the queen. Okay, I knew that being greedy was gonna be. Not the top computer move, but I still wanted to. Okay, so then just being safe is probably the way to go. He missed, so then he definitely should have just gone like that, like I was thinking. But then don't I just win this pawn? Oh, computer is hating this. Because... Okay, well... This is just too complicated for me to understand. I'll analyze this later, but for now, I'm just going to revel in my victory. Um... Apparently this move was given the blessing by the computer, which I'm very happy about. So it is day three of, of playing chess every day until I reach 1800. We are now at 1290. Hopefully tomorrow we'll reach 1300. That'll be pretty exciting. So thank you for joining me on this journey. Got like 500 views on the last video. I wasn't expecting that. Um, so hopefully this keeps going. And I mean, I'm just gonna be keep on, on playing every day. So, so stick with it if you wanna see my journey. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.